Willie Mays died. He was 93 years old. What a phenomenal baseball player. He started in the uh, Negro Leagues in Birmingham, Alabama. Baseball stadiums around the country held moments of silence for Willie. But, you know, the deep voice announcer doing the, the you know, g- giving the bad news that Willie had died. With that <clears> echo <throat> and everything. Yeah, yeah you know, you, you hear that big voice and it just doesn't seem sincere. You know what I mean? It's weird, but here it is. The same hey kid, Willie Mays, one of the greatest players in the history of our game, has passed away at the age of 93. The Say Hey Kid had a profound influence. <laughs> Listen to this guy. He's going to out deep voice the other guy. Right. The Say Hey Kid. Not only on the game of baseball, but on the fabric of America. He was an inspiration. <laughs> How many people you know go, America? Please join us in a moment of silence as we remember the great Willie Mays. Willie Mays. The great <laughs> Howard. Willie Mays. I have the deepest voice of all, so I'm the saddest about Willie Mays. The deeper the voice, the sadder you are about Willie Mays. Watch this. Willie Mays. I love Reggie Jackson so much. Reggie was there, and he got up and reminded everybody about how fucked up Alabama was when Willie was playing, just to keep everybody's head on straight. Coming back here is not easy. The racism that I played here, when I played here, the the difficulty of going through different places where we traveled. I walked into restaurants and they would point at me and said, the nigger can't eat here. I would go to a hotel and they say, the nigger can't stay here. We went to Charlie Finley's country club for a welcome home dinner and they pointed me out with the n-word he can't come in here finley marched the whole team out finally they let me in there he said we're going to go to the diner and eat hamburgers we'll go where we're wanted yeah i mean that's keeping it real way to go Reggie. and that's what willie mays willie mays was one of the guys who broke open the door yeah sure did I think Barack Obama said I never could have been president if it wasn't for Willie Mays, you know, coming before me, which was a really nice thing to say. Willie was 14 when he joined the Negro Leagues. And, and, and his nickname was Say Hey Kid. And you know why his nickname was Say Hey Kid? Why? I guess when he, was, when he was on a team, he never knew any of the other players' names. So he'd say hey. And they, they started <laughs> calling him Say Hey because he's just Say Hey. Say Hey, you know. So they even had a song called Say Hey, the Willie Mays song, which was done by the train ears. I never say heard of that, but hey, say who? Say Willie. Say hey. Say who? Swing it at the plate. Say hey. Say who? Say Willie. That giant kid is great. Willie retired from uh, baseball 1973 after a brief stint on the New York Mets. Fafafui has been, like, hitting that uh, button. He wants to get on air real bad. He must have something very important to say about Willie. Go ahead. First of all, he's probably one of the greatest. He probably is the Baba greatest Bowie. baseball player of all time because, you know, Baba he had Bowie. power, he had speed, he hit for average, he had he had a, a rocket for an <clears throat> arm. But, you know, he, he held a lot of records, but um, <clears throat> he lost two years to the war. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's two years where he wouldn't. I'm just listening to Fred play the clearing the throat sound effect. It's just fucking makes me laugh every time. I'm trying to concentrate. I'm uh, trying to concentrate on what he's saying. (laughs) I just. uh, uh. What what did what did he do about the war? He lost two years to the war. Meaning he there were two years of his career that he gave up for the war that he would have had um, the home run record and all sorts of records. Imagine he's a guy who couldn't even like go to a hotel or a restaurant when he's playing baseball as Reggie pointed out, but yet he's serving his country two years in the military and lost two years off his career. Howard, I read his, I read his bio. Yeah. You know, when the, when the New York giants moved to San Francisco, he had a lot of difficulty getting a home in San Francisco. You know what I mean? Like he just couldn't, like they would, and he was, he was a fucking star and he couldn't get a home. Say, Hey, I got that song in my head. now. Say, Say, Willie. (laughs) 